continuing our discussion on the FAQs that the Texas Realtors publish regarding their new forms. Another question we often get asked by agents is if they can amend the buyer rep agreement after the execution to make changes to the commission amounts. For example, the buyer rep agreement provides for 3% payable by buyer, but then the buyer decides to buy a home from a builder. That builder is offering a builder bonus to the realtor on top of the 3%. The settlement agreement does not allow a buyer agent to be paid more than what is provided in the buyer rep agreement, but the settlement agreement does not prohibit amendment to the buyer rep agreement. To be able to receive the bonus offered by the builder, the buyer rep agreement would have to be amended for this specific property. If the buyer agrees to the amendment, the amendment to buyer representation agreement, Form 1505, should be used. Whether the buyer is willing to amend is a different story. They may ask that the seller decrease their sales price rather than pay more commission or money in the form of bonuses to you. So in order to avoid any surprises with your client, this may be worth discussing with your buyer up front. Please note that the short form buyer rep agreement does not have a place for additional compensation. The other compensation can only be added to the long form buyer representation agreement, form 1501. There are many more questions addressed on the FAQs, and they are continuing to update them. I encourage you to read through the new forms before re reviewing the FAQs. The FAQs may not make sense unless you have read through those forms. As I mentioned in every tip, please let us be your resource for results, both here and at the closing table. And if you have any questions or thoughts for our next tip, please send them to